Camera? I brought a camera. <laughs> That's sick. I'm gonna vlog. That's awesome. Yeah. That's so oh, cool. Oh, you can. That's the Sony A6000. <laughs> I did it. I did it. <laughs> How was your trip, sis? It's stressful. <laughs> How was your trip, Karn? It was chill. Yeah, it's very chill, right? Yeah, it was a, good, a good bus ride down. Yeah, a bit cramped. But yes. Yeah, yeah a little bit cramped. Did you feel cramped, sis? I had an entire bus to myself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what you get for forgetting your passport. Yeah. Unlucky. Unlucky. Well, yeah. So first stop, Dublin Airport. Next stop, can we get some light? Whoa. Next stop, LA. Very nice. Hey, we did it. I did it. Hi guys. It is 6.42 Belfast time. And I made it all the way to Hollywood. And we're trying this vlogging things for the first time. Ooh. Lovely. It's very scary putting yourself out there like this. We had a nice bus ride, Belfast to Dublin, to the airport. Very cool. Met up with Sis and Karn. Well, I met up with Karn. We got to Dublin. Then Sis met us there because he decided to throw away his passport and then find it in the last minute. So that was great. Had Chinese bakery, bakery stuff in the morning. It was actually fantastic. Uh, if anyone hasn't tried it before, uh, the soft bread they make is insanely good. I've never tried it before. So can recommend. Flight over was pretty good. Nothing, nothing too bad. I sat in the middle aisle, but I felt that was pretty, a pretty good leg space. We were on an Airbus, <laughs> not a Boeing. So the plane didn't fall apart. We're at the same hotel. I mean, for, for some of you guys, Ben might've been a, a name that uh, rings a bell very recently, but for me, uh, it was a guy I used to play with called <laughs> Darky at the time in 2012. So that was really cool. Waggle, met Waggle, another old racer, and just like a lot of other guys. We'll see them all around. And they're all worth mentioning. It's just cool people who love games. Peewee. For Peewee 2 tomorrow, predictions. Ooh, it's a tough one, right? What are they actually going to show? Are they going to show in game? Are we going to have a full experience? Can we actually play through the campaigns? Transition in between the acts? I haven't been able to do that before. We don't know. Nobody knows anything really. I mean, some people know something, but they're not spilling the beans. So we kind of just have to hope. See what we get. Some big announcements are coming for sure. I mean, surely. We'll see tomorrow. Hope you guys are excited for PoE stuff. PoE 2 stuff. Because I am. Anyways, that's me signing out for tonight. Can't wait to see what's in store. Hi, is Adrian here with another video? <laughs> well, this guy just got out of bed. Very funny. Hello and good morning. Do I look like someone who's just about to go to a gaming thing? Looking at launches and listening about items and characters and role play and all that stuff. No, I have a shirt on. I don't have gamer gear. Because I like wearing a shirt, and I like wearing a shirt when there's something to celebrate, and it's PoE 2, and we're getting a lot of new info, so let's celebrate. I'm about to go down and get breakfast. Uh, had a good night's sleep. I think I slept seven hours. Um, I was a bit worried if the jet lag would hit me, but not sleeping on the plane at all, I, oh, uh, despite the 30 minutes. So I was really up for a good 22 hours yesterday, so that made it so I could actually fall asleep. So I got a good night's rest. I kept waking up, looking at the clock and being like, it says 11.30. My brain's telling me, I know it's not 11.30. I look out and it's like, this is weird. Why is it so dark at 11.30? <laughs> it's like, I'm supposed to wake up at 3 p.m. Hometown, like home time. Cause I haven't updated my clock to LA time yet. So it's like, so I got confused every time, but I'm up now. I'm just about to go grab breakfast, uh, meet up with all the other people. It's gonna be exciting. Um, predictions. I'm hoping we get to play through the campaign without there being like breaks in between, without having to change character. We can get like an actual playthrough. Maybe some hints at in game. 
I don't really need to like play the end game or like see the full product. I would just, I would like to see what they've thought. That'd be nice. Just more classes, more tech, WASD. How does it feel? How does it look? Um, the pushiness of monsters, the stun and all that was kind of icky last time. Um, we gave them a lot of feedback. That's my clock. I'm about to get up. Perfect. I'm up, I'm up. I'm awake. Look, it's bright outside. We're ready. This is my hotel. Yes, yes, yes. Good accommodations, like always. It's very nice. Had a nice shower. Put some cream on our hands. I'm feeling very smooth right now. <laughs> yeah, let me just get some shoes on and then let's go. A little inline footage. Okay, I'm here with the red shirt guy, also known as the duelist. The best class. What is the best class? Duelist. Yeah. Duelist. Oh, we, don't, this, we don't know yet. Is Slayer the best? Yeah, well, the yeah, yeah the you gotta get the animal yeah. He's wrong. Juggernaut's better. Okay, yeah, quick revision. Yeah. Champ is better. I am here with Siggy D Starcraft. Wait, are we even called that anymore? You were? Oh, okay. The one and the only Siggy D and Waggle. You've never been to an event before, have you? Have you been? <laughs> Everybody forgets. I literally raced in the first <laughs> Exile Con. <laughs> 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 Do you remember wiggling for Waggle? I mean, first like, Exile Con? <laughs> We're terrible. We're terrible people. He's, five. He's not terrible though. Yeah. One question. Uh-huh. Peewee 2, yay or nay? Yeah, sure. There it is. Pretty different to Peewee 1 though, so there's definitely people playing both or one or the other. There you have it. Big win for Peewee 2. It's the better game. Ah, <laughs> Good morning. Uh, today was pretty great or to yesterday was pretty great. Um, Peewee 2 looks good. There's gonna be some bots. <laughs> it doesn't really have anything to do with uh, the direction they want to take Peewee 2 in. More like the current state and some of the sentiments. I think I've kind of gathered from GGG here on what GG Peewee 2 is supposed to be in terms of difficulty and those kind of things. I'll make, I'll make a more longer form video. I have four hours of footage of gameplay. And I'll say this right now, if I could, I would play Peewee 2 as my main thing if it, if it just released tomorrow. Like bugs or balance and all. Whenever I sit down and play Peewee 2, it is absolutely stunning on all levels of like audio, graphics, world building, variety. It's just fantastic. It's it's. Amazing. I don't care what anyone says. It dwarfs Diablo 4 in terms of atmosphere and actual character. D4 is a game that's really pretty and it gets a lot of praise for that. But it's just that. It's just pretty. And I think D4 is fair to take up here as a comparison because it's the triple A. It is, it is the game that gets the most praise for this specifically. And the fact that PoE 2, I think, rivals that and kind of surpasses it is really amazing. Um, the music and everything was, was great. The boss design is absolutely amazing. I think everyone that played it, faults and all, will say that the um, boss design is probably the, the best thing about it. Now, there's a lot of problems in terms of early pacing, uh, gearing up, what kind of items you're supposed to get, crafting. I don't know, it's like, it's, it's a weird thing to call it crafting, especially in the light of Last Epoch right now. But the thing is that getting to Act 2 is not that far into the game. I'm not sure how many acts they're going to be. I think it's going to be five or six and they're very long. And I got to maybe around the end of Act 2. I got to the end of whatever this demo allowed us to. I killed everything, uh, did every boss. I think I might have missed some side bosses. Uh, but yeah, I got to the point where they hadn't essentially finalized more stuff. And that took us like four hours. Now I got stuck for like an hour on some different things. There'll be a lot of things that are going to not work. I mean, bugs and crashes and stuff. But when it worked, it felt really good. 
and my character started feeling really like it started coming together in act two so i think a lot of the sentiment around act one is going to because a lot of people ended up getting stuck before they really started getting the tools available and i think this is really important because i think the tools need to be available way earlier where you can just have fun and, and let it be more of a playground rather than a beatdown. Because I think that's what a lot of people think PvE 2 is right now. It's like a beatdown of the player with way too much scarcity on the tools that you need to engage with the world. Like the challenge is there, like the challenge is good, but you need to essentially f have the tools to experiment with and to figure out how to take on that challenge and feel like you accomplished it beating it. And right now it's like. <laughs> I mean, I sat next to Lily and Ben and we were all like, holy shit. We got our ass kicked on multiple occasions, right? And we were all trying, we were all trying. So yeah, it was, it was, well, I will say at the, near the end of Act 2, we started actually, we started kicking, well, at least <laughs> Ben and I started kicking ass because we were playing Ranger. Lily was not so fortunate because she was playing a quite underpowered Sork at the time, so. Balance is something I would really like. If they are going to do more demos, like I think they need to take a close eye and actually getting the balance part and the power part and the resource part out there. The thing is, I've seen I've seen the game at, in in multiple iterations of like Exalcon One, Exalcon Two, now this event here, and there's been big improvements with all of them. I was much less annoyed with getting stunned and such this time around. Like I didn't feel that oppressed by just mini hits. They hurt a lot, but I, I didn't feel as if I or my character was unplayable. I just got stuck a lot, which also kind of was annoying. But like, that's a discussion about movement skills in PoE 2, which there are good ones, bear in mind. And the game flows well whenever like, in it, in it, whenever it play, like whenever it plays well, it plays really well. Whenever it plays poorly, it plays, it gets kind of frustrating. And I think some of the journalists were not really, they might not be too um, familiar with uh, the brutalness of a game like PoE and the direction that it gets from its founders uh, in terms of game design. They very much have a, an idea in terms of how hard it needs to be for the player and I respect that. I do think there are like a way to make that more fun. But we'll, I'll make a proper video where I'll, I'll show you footage and I'll give you a more general idea of what the game is about, what I would like to see happen in the future, and then we'll take it from there. PoE 2 really right now is the diamond in the rough. I really mean that. So let's cut the diamond and make it <laughs> uncut gems. Okay guys, I'll see you later.